Super Sunset Monaco Cobra. You can see it right now, it's real alert. Flaring our neck muscles out to the side, giving you that iconic Cobra stance. Basically, she's saying she doesn't understand why her safe butt isn't in her cage. She's real nervous. You can see she's reacting to the motion of the camera, to the motion of me. It's not where it sits. She doesn't care about it. It's okay. She's reacting to the motions. They're startling her. So they're making her nervous. Notice that her tongue's not flicking out a lot. She just kind of stands up. She's trying to focus on the heat that, or the motion, sorry, that she sees. And she's trying to figure out what it is. She's trying to understand if it's a threat. So what's going through her head right now? So based off of her body language, she's a little bit nervous, she's semi-confused, she's not sure if that phone in front of her is something that's gonna hurt her or not. So she's trying to make herself look as big as she can, flatten out her neck. And you'll notice, go ahead and go in a little closer. Her first reaction is gonna be to retreat. Let her get too close. Please go back up. She don't care. We'll have to tap her with her. Now, I'm going to get her out here. Get her calm down. She won't strike you there. She feels really secure inside of that. That beautiful hood. Tell with her genetics the hair she comes. Realize that she's not seen her in a little hut before. Now, notice her hood went down. Now she's what I consider an exploring mode. She's got her tongues flicking out a lot. She's smelling and tasting. Exploring her new surroundings. This is more of an inquisitive look. When they're a little bit more relaxed, see the hoods down, tongue flicking. When she's at a relaxed point like this, it's then that I know that she's calm enough where I can come under like this Tail this snake, generally, you want to hold my hand, she thinks I'm a stick. As long as I'm just gently underneath her, she has no idea that I'm a person. She thinks I'm just another stick that she's climbing on. She's not feeling threatened. And that's how I'm able to comfortably work with such a venomous snake. As they take the time to respect the animal and understand its body movements, what it's thinking. Now if I'd have went in and tried to secure the snake while he was all feeling threatened and put it up in that skull, she would have reacted defensively. Good odds that I would have 
than uh, dodging a strike. And now that she's relaxed, she's feeling comfortable, she's not feeling threatened. I can manipulate and move her around and work with her with quite a bit of confidence that I'm not in a whole lot of danger. Now if she were to start getting puffy puffy, flaring out, tongue flicks slowed down, I would want to be weary. But even at that moment, with her being relaxed, if she starts to come towards me, I'm going to release that tail and reposition her. Because, do not forget that this beautiful, amazing creature that is just being completely relaxed and calm right here, this is an extremely venomous snake. And it can, well, drop for drop, the venom of this snake is more potent than the King Cobra. And if something were to go wrong, and I were to receive a bite and get envenomated by the snake, it would not be fun. There's a very good chance that this snake, even with my bite protocol, could end my life. And that's why no matter what, no matter what type of keeper you are, whether you're a free handler, whether you use tools like I do, always remember to respect the animals that you're working with. Because it's when you lose that respect for the animal and what they truly are, that's when the problems happen. What a magnificent animal. What a beautiful, beautiful snake. And you can see she means me no harm. She's just checking things out. Realize that I'm not a threat. As a matter of fact, she doesn't even realize that she's on my hand right now. I think she's grabbing onto a tree branch. I'm not squeezing with all her emotion. I'm only using the hook to ensure that she can't come back if she decides to all of a sudden get excited. Even though she's calm and I don't think that she would try to bite when she comes back, I'm not allowing it to happen. Because I respect the capabilities of the beautiful thing. Go ahead and get the cage here. Lock up to one side. Right there. Now that, I start alive. 